Hey guys, me Dave. It's uh, 629-2020, so I thought I would do a little video tonight. Um, not, I haven't been getting hit too too bad today. Um, I didn't get out of bed till 2.30. You know, I wake up uh, every morning. The dogs wake me up at like 6.30 in the morning, and they want to eat. So I'm always up at 6.30 in the morning, um, whether I can sleep or not. Always up at 6.30 in the morning. The dogs want to eat, so I have to um, make them breakfast. Uh, as far as Tanner goes, he is kind of on, you know, he. we're going to try some different dog food because he doesn't seem like he likes his dog food. Ah, that stuff in my mouth. You know, so as far as Tanner goes... You know, he doesn't seem like he likes his dog food. So, I make him rice and chicken and I put some egg in there and all this stuff. So, that's what I do for him every morning because he won't eat his dog food. Now, he really won't eat his dog food because he likes what I make him, you know. So, I kind of have him on a diet, but I really want him to go back to eating his dog food. We just have to find a brand that these guys like. Otherwise... You know, they're, we feed them at 4.30, and they don't, you know, they don't get anything to eat. Well, then they're going to eat their dog food at, like, 8 or 9 or 10 o'clock at night, you know, because they don't want to starve to death, you know. So, I'm always up, and then I always try to get back to sleep, and I'm being, when I get back to sleep, when I try to get back to sleep, I get re a lot of remote neural manipulation, a lot of images and all this stuff. Uh, they throw in past memories, they put, they've, they put in falsified memories of uh, something that happened the day before. You know, they they can build a story on it. You know, a lot of it could be sexual stuff. You know, if you've seen a, a pretty lady at the gas station, they can uh, put that in your mind, and they'll put it in there every 60 seconds. You know, it'll boom, 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 in your mind. And... Uh, and then they can build a story on that. They can turn it into a sexual thing. You know, that's usually what they do to me. Um, there's another thing I want to talk about that they do to all of us. If you're a real TI, if you're a real TI, they do this to all of us. Um, you have to be very, very careful out there, you guys, because... They will use a lot of pretty girls, you know. They will use a lot of pretty girls. Um, they will use people your own age. They will use college girls. Um, they will use girls that are questionable whether they're 18 or not, you know. So sometimes they'll get younger girls involved, and they'll tell them to dress skimpy. And stuff like that. And uh, we'll try to get you to look at them. Or, and stuff like that. They do this. If you're a real TI. They do this to all of us. You know. Um, and then. Uh, they did this to me tonight. Uh, me and my relative went, went for a ride. Uh, they had. Uh, a couple girls. Uh, walking down the street. One was. You know. Didn't have a bra on. She was wearing a. A like a, I don't know what you call it, some kind of shirt where her stomach was showing and all this stuff, tight jeans, all this stuff. You know, it's questionable what, you know, whether she was 18 or not, you know. They will do this stuff to you, and then they will put images of that girl. Boom, 60 seconds, boom, 60 seconds, boom, 60 seconds. And they will try to make it into a perverted thing. This is what they do to all of us real targets if you're getting remote neural monitoring remote neural manipulation they will do these kinds of things um, sometimes targets talk about this other times I think targets avoid talking about this um, you know but you know like I say Duncan interviewed thousands of TIs and they do they do all kinds of nasty things um, to us, um, why do they why do they do that stuff? I don't know. 
you know, um, what they do, they'll, they'll use young girls, um, wearing Daisy Duke shorts and, and stuff like that, you don't know how old they are, you know, it, you know, it, it's like, what are, they, what are they doing, why do they do that, you know, and stuff, it, it gets reactions out of you, because it's like, you can't believe it, you know, but then, these guys are very perverted, um, when it comes to this program, they're very perverted, um, I do think they use people that like underage girls in this program, I really do think they use those kind of people, um, if you listen to John Storm, he was a handler, um, he mentioned that, um, that they use these type of people that, you know, go after kids and stuff like that, you know, so it's, uh, why do they do it, I don't know, for reactions, are they trying to set you up, you know, oh my god, look at that, you, you looked at that, oh my god, oh, you know, and this is what they do, if you're a real target, they do this to us, uh, they do to all of us, it doesn't matter if you're uh, a guy or a girl, you know, um, you know, uh, it, it doesn't matter, you know, I mean, they're looking through our eyes, so they're seeing everything that's going on and stuff, but this is what they do, so be very, very careful out there, you guys, because they will, they will try to get you to look at girls, you know, where, you know, it's questionable, you know, um, and stuff like that, you know, they'll, Tell them to dress skimpy, wear these dupes, they, they don't care. You know, these people don't care. They don't, they don't care. They use all kinds of, all kinds of people. Young, old, you know, they use, uh, you know, usually, uh, you know, because I've dated older women in my lifetime, uh, they use some, uh, pretty old, older women, uh, in my program, you know, that, you know, I'm 47, so they use someone who's 50, and, um, that is pretty, you know, and they'll do that a lot, too, but they, they'll do all kinds of things to grab our attention, and then it's like a falsified, I guess, stream of energy, putting falsified thoughts in your head and all that stuff of these people, um, it doesn't matter if they're young or old or whatever, you know, they will do all kinds of things, um, so be careful, there you guys, just be careful, um, you know, they manipulate us, um, and, uh, they try to get us to do, you know, I don't know, you know, look at whoever, you know what I mean, young, old, doesn't matter, um, you know, and they're perverted, they're very perverted, you guys, um, you know, um, I'm not gonna go in how perverted they are in my program, but these guys, I think they use some very, very, very bad people in my program um, to heterodyne me and stuff like that. Um, you know, if you don't know what heterodyne is, look it up. You know, it's where they put your brain, their brain waves onto your brain waves. They put their feelings onto you. Um, you know, and all this stuff. Um, it's mixing of the brain waves of the perp in you. And I think they use some very bad people. I think they use drug addicts to do it. I think they use all kinds of different people to do that stuff. Um, it's really, it's really sick, but it's amazing at the same time, you know. And they do it to get reactions. On, they do it for all different reasons. But um, so I want to talk about that a little bit. Other than that, they kind of gave me the day off. I didn't get out of bed till two thirty. I was so tired and I was grounding myself. And all this stuff, I mean, I was up a few times, and then I went back to bed, up, back to bed, and then finally 2.30, I got up, and then my relative was off today, and I'm like, do you want to go for a ride today or something, you know, get out of the house, we'll get out of here for a while, and so we went for a ride, we went for two rides, actually, um, and, uh, you know, so we got out of the house a little bit today, and then, um, we, uh, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, it wasn't too exciting. I took Tanner to the park earlier today and stuff, got out, and, uh, they had perps up there, you know, it's, 
like I say, I go to a place where nobody goes, you know. But up all all of a sudden, when I go there, there's tons of people there, you know. It, but if I go on a day where they don't call in the perps, the place is dead. Nobody goes there. Nobody goes there and takes their dog for a walk. It's not, they have just baseball fields there, you know. So, it's, you know, they got the perps there and stuff. And, and, they, and they park right where I park and all this stuff. You know, it's, you know, I don't want to sound paranoid. But when you're sensitized to the routines and, and what they do and all this stuff, um, this is what they do, you know, they, they uh, have to interrupt your life somehow, you know, make, you know, make it bad or whatever, you know. I'm going to cut this off though, you guys, I'll talk to you later.